Shalom, everyone. I hope that you have enjoyed your Shabbat. If you are new, I'm not Jewish or churchy or religious or anything like that. If you don't know what the Shabbat means, it just in Hebrew, it means the Sabbath. And um, I do keep covenant with Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. And so anyway, I just like to say that on the Shabbat. But sun's gone down, and so uh, I hope everybody has enjoyed their day, and it's been relaxing. I've literally just relaxed all day today, and just connected with the Most High, and um, thought I'd just get on here and check the energies and see what's going on. You hope I just appreciate you so much, and I just thank you for truth and peace that passes all understanding for those who are mourning and wailing about things please just put your hand and your arm around them and catch their tears and wipe them away we have the six of wands here is showing up and um, that's a public recognition this has been a bloody war there's blood everywhere showing up I'm not sure if you can see that very well um, but there's a lot of um, blood there bloodshed a lot of warring going on here let, let, um, let me let me flip my camera a minute okay so your whole camera is going to flip over something just got flipped upside down i guess um there's a victory here for somebody within a situation um so this says um good news is on its way that's positive because we've had all kinds of um swords and stuff coming out i guess if you're a losing party and you're in the negative side and somebody has literally died um with energetically physically emotionally spiritually whatever that is um that's not always easy or fun to be on that side of things but somebody got some type of a public victory or something like that let me turn this light on i thought i had it on originally i guess not so there's definitely some type of a war here. And then we have the Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. And the Queen of Wands, she's very passionate. She's, um, she's just confident. She's warm. Uh, she's very intelligent. She's graceful. And um, in the negative, this has been the other woman. We've been seeing a lot of third-party stuff. Okay, so if this was something to do with passionate stuff and somebody's been worrying about something, somebody won something here within this war. Now, the Queen of Wands in the upright, she's very spiritual. She'll take her, she will win. If she's in the upright, she's in truth. And she'll take her, her uh, wand and she'll smite you with that. She won't care. She, I don't think so. And she'll shoot out some fire now. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Jehovah says that, that his fire goes before him and burns up his enemies. And if you're in the truth and you're connected with the uh, Most High, Jehovah says, you know, that's in his people then. There, there's, this has been a passionate war here for some people. And um, some people are feeling defeated because of the other woman type of energy that's been around us. Male or female, I guess it really doesn't matter. Fire is very um, masculine energy just within itself. But it's also showing up here in a feminine form here. But there's something very confident here. And there's something very intelligent going on here with these uh, two cards that come out here for this reading. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. I feel like I'm going to use the Rider weight for this message. Give me just a second. Yo, well, what do you want to say about this uh, Six of Wands? And now we've seen the Six of Wands in a couple of different ways. Uh, today on a couple of my readings, it really was showing out, even though there was a lot of air. There was air and fire today. A lot of air and fire today was showing itself. And so it's fiery, passionate energy is one something here show me what's going on give me some cards so there's f fire and air <laughs> the gemini energy here or virgo i guess it'd be earthy energy actually the, the, it doesn't matter who it is uh what it is all of the elements are found here on the um magician card and then we got messages travel fast moving messages now since this says a victory a public victory of something 
Somebody's communication traveled fast and passionate with confidence and intelligence. And there was something that was healing about it to, to, for something to be one, whatever that is. This is also physicians. This is the Aleph head in the Hebraic living language. And this is somebody who leads a clan, at, which would be um, taurine energy with the Aleph head in the Hebraic living language. But the Six of Wands also has a meaning of somebody who has a following Somebody that is known has gotten some type of victory within a situation here. There's work showing up here and uh, or something that was worked on or manifested is also showing up here. We have 88, uh, which is tower energy and knowing some stuff. Um, show me the magician. Let's just clarify these. Show me the magician, please, Jehovah, because you know everything. So there's a lot of people in here with this... Uh, energy of victory somebody's gonna stretch their wings and fly and uh not underestimate what they got and get up and, and go high and they're going places they're traveling here um yes so we see in this card today and so there had been some manipulation around the situation and somebody was like i'm out of here now and they turned their back on the the situation and this person was just rushing right on in and sit in a stalemate. There's a king of um, pentacles here. So we have a king and a queen and a knight showing up and somebody who leads a clan, which is spiritual energy is the overall energy. And so if this somebody gets up and leads a spiritual clan of some kind or just somebody who's very spiritual. Maybe you're done with somebody who's in magic. I don't know. This energy right here is rebellion and that go back to magic stuff. It's energetically, spiritually speaking. Um, but somebody quickly came in, did something here and spoke something or manifested something or something has taken place or work in the boss and the communication came really, really fast. Uh, somebody got some type of victory over that. In a big way within the situation here. Let's see what the messages were about. And what the obviously it's Cupid's arrows. We got three literal people showing up here, and the other woman and something that work. The other woman could have been your sister, just being in your business, or uh, just any feminine. It doesn't have to. It could have been your co-worker, and something you know was manifested here. And somebody I feel like was trying to defend something real fast or came real quick to the boss or something like that. Whoever's the leadership here. Show me the eight of swords. Excuse me, the eight of um, wands. The tower. Well, the tower is going to come out then. Um, knowledge. Somebody knows about some type of travel communication and Cupid's arrows and something to do with it. Something wide scale. Uh, something was foolish or the uh, actually this is a clean slate possibly from something that has been foolish if this is manipulation that's foolishness the towers come down and something was seen and known about it and somebody could not quit returning to their vomit well it's known about and it's just like somebody's got a victory over something here so that's the same energy really big and somebody knows about the, the that's sexual stuff here as well somebody's had a paradigm shift for those of you who just had a paradigm shift about something that was said somebody quickly came in and did something or said something or you got a download for something and get some type of spiritual victory where work is involved something is clear here this is also aviation travel and aviation here show me the eight of pentacles You could work with uh, a toolbox or something like that. He's got a hammer and nails and stuff like that. Don't have to. I just, you know, I mean, we got a physician here. I just like to say what I'm seeing if it hits me that way in a reading. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Gemini uh, and Aquarius is real big. Libra could be out here as well. And uh, Virgo holds that card in the deck. Aries of Sagittarius is over the top of this thing. Show me the Eight of uh, Pentacles. We got four cards that came out. Well, we got, <laughs> look what we got. We got the Reliability. We got the Queen of Swords, which 
if that's in the negative people, that's a witch, or that's an ex, or that's, you know, if this work stuff, this is bosses and their employees then. And then we've got the six of wands again, and the heartbreak, the third party here. Well, something's known about the third party now, and the foolishness of it. And somebody got some real quick communication where the boss was concerned or a husband or something like that or, you know, whatever this has been. There's decisions here. And something, this people, people are supposed to be in your life. This is my, this person supposed to be in your life card for me. And it's a blessed union or some type of balancing out something here or uh, communication about the lover. Um, and the decision that was made, something got knocked down. Show me the tower. What, is, what What's absolutely known that you can tell me, Jehovah? Show me the known thing. The wheel. Um, and the wheel goes either way and the death. Well, so people do know about the travel. And uh, it's known. We got aviation travel here and travel here. And they also know that some something took, that was backstabbing for some people because there was third parties and there was other people involved. Uh, competition. We got people here. But the competition card comes out. We've seen it this morning, the five of wands. So people were trying to figure out what to do. But it's over because the hand of the divine, this is the yod, right? Um, they, they, it's backstabbing. It's also known for looking at the past energy. Uh, something took place on a travel trip that, you know, somebody was backstabbed literally and had to be rushed to the hospital or you're dealing with somebody with back issues within a situation. It's known about. It's known about the wheel and what took place that uh, with the wheel of the vehicle itself as well. If this was an accident, then it was an accident as well. Let's take... Um, A couple cards here and see what comes out well somebody gonna be able to stretch their wings and fly and um, we have the gimmel coming out here which is the Empress which goes back to projects and jail and uh, travel as well to move or together or to walk or to carry it's a movement energy some look people I've been telling you that you always been bringing it out somebody was plotting how to get away and those who trapped got trapped and now the ones who uh, they were trying to keep the nine pentacles is right here so that's somebody you know we'll segregate you but we'll take your money a uh, kind of stuff and we've got a lot of fortune out here and do projects on you and stuff like that. Those people get to travel now. Those people get to, to uh, cross the, the sea that Jehovah's going to cross and let them pass now. And those who got trapped, they're going to jail. They are going to go to jail. Uh, the true jail is going to come in here. Uh, so we have the hey, and something did get pointed out. We have the G and the H here, and the L. And we got a P at the bottom of the deck, which is the star energy, which would take you right back to here. So the star and the full and the tower all goes back to the same energy. Um, the G, the L is showing itself. The H, the A, the Y uh, is here in this reading. Person, place, or a thing, a first, middle, or last name. So the word goes back to um, pondering. The HG, that's the hog. We talk about, you know, jail and stuff like a boss hog, stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this goes back to pondering and complaining and murmuring. And, well, we got manipulation stuff like that going on. We got messages. You know, we got knowledge about messages. We got freaking warm backstabbing crap here. Of course, somebody's going to be freaking murmuring and, and complaining about something that's known. That's taking place. It's been backstabbing. Somebody's trying to protect that because I go back to protection. Um, somebody's been hiding something here or trying to protect something that was horrible. But somebody else needed to know the information. And it's known. And so, there's also, some, uh, the word is ahead is here. Uh, like something that is in front of or as something that is, you know, contemplated um, directly. Melody is here, here as well. It's also a name. Um, but that also goes to a sound device is what it's saying. Or music. Well, imagine that. Um... <laughs> You're doing somebody who's in the public eye that might be a singer or something like that or connection to music or plays an instrument or something like that. 
or is connected to spiritual things and that's out here really big and there's a shout and a shouting here as well there's also a splendor and a prominent beauty or work uh, as shouting out and uh, of goodliness as well and a thanksgiving a song of thanksgiving is here it's possible because we do have um, we do have a victory people we really do okay so the word the other direction the GH um, goes to high pride well there's the tower right there there's that foolish high pride and expansion is really big here then with the will and look that's funny I mean that combination reading that I did, and I don't mean to make this about uh, Sagittarius and um, Aquarius, but it really is showing here. And uh, there's something to that. There's some type of connection with that energy. Um, but the ninth house and the um, 11th house does make the 9-11, which is tower energy. This is genius, and this is the higher mind. All right, and if you're not standing in truth, and you're not allowing the divine to build a tower or a device because that word device was there found in the other direction. So maybe I'm murmuring about that stuff um, that was built. We have a, somebody who built and worked on something here. It's caused a freaking war. Um, this word goes back to high pride and it's here. High pride to lift up of oneself and hey, look at me. Well, somebody's defeated. Because they got the crap knocked down. And uh, the word here is um, the heel. Well, the, the, somebody got healed by the divine's heel. And it's just whatever. Medicine is here. To, as well, we do know that somebody needs freaking medicine. We just do. Okay? We just do. We have a physician right here. And the ninth house also can go back to physician. Somebody's mind needs a freaking medicine. Um, there's been a gale storm. Yes. And it's not been fun. We also have five and three is eight. And that is um, death energies. And it shows it right here. There's the um, king of wands. Well, we got the king and the queen of wands. That's a match. And yet, and we just got all kinds of people out here. We got court cards coming out here. Something is huge and known on a device. And somebody's been murmuring and hasn't been kind at all. And uh, it's been heartbreaking. But there's a victory. And so now... There's energies here to stretch our wings and fly. And it's time to move forward here. Um, something is over. It's over. It's over. Again, something just came down and turned and flipped all around. And, and just like my device did. That's amazing to me how Yova speaks so profoundly and had me flip my camera around. He's literally showing it here. Something going down and flipping around. And something's over. And there is... Somebody going to wear a crown. And so congratulations if you won something. Because something is very much over. When death comes, that's it. Something's transformative here. And we've got the victory card twice. And somebody's heartbroken over that. Uh, well, look, people. If you're in the, if you're wicked, uh, you're only heartbroken because you got found out about something, I guess. Uh, because we got some people who were dealing with sexual matters with other people as well. And wanted to suppress that or was murmuring because it was known or whatever the crap it was. Somebody got backstabbed and died out of the deal or something like that. Um, well, it's known now. There's some type of victory that's won and you have a show in it. So, anyway, this is what come out for this reading. Uh, hopefully, you were the winner of something uh, and it's turning around for your favor. And if you are upright and righteous, then it did. And it's fixing to because Jehovah also likes to show us the things before they happen. Shalom.